Hey everyone, it's your boy Graphic back with another video and today we're going to be looking at Cities Skylines. City Skylines is a new game I just bought on Steam. Uh, the sale was on, so obviously I had to purchase City Skylines. I wanted to try it out for the first time. Um, I love simulations, simulation games. I played games like Banished in the past. Uh, I love Banished a lot. We're going to jump into a city here. I have about 30 minutes on this game right now on Steam. Uh, so I do have a little bit of an understanding of kind of how it works and how... Uh, you know, how you're supposed to go about the game. I have, I, I, I have very little experience. Like I said, 30 minutes, so I'm not going to be, um, you know, the best at this or anything. But we're going to jump on in. Uh, once this is done loading, we're going to jump into a new little world and try to see what we can do. Um, remember, I am new to this game, so it won't be the best gameplay, but you're going to learn a little bit with me here. And it should be a fast way to learn as a, an individual if you want to buy the game yourself. So right here, say hello. Let's start by building some roads and zoning the areas next to them. Buildings will spawn on the zoned areas, and you will unlock new city services and buildings as your city grows. For help, click on the question mark button. It will provide you with information regarding the menu or view you have open. So we're going to exit that out, and we're actually going to pause. You see in this bottom left, you can actually pause, and you can go accelerate time to two and three, but we're going to go back and pause it. We have build roads. Build roads to expand your city. Select a road type and draw a road by selecting a start and end point for the road with the primary mouse button. Stop drawing a road by clicking the secondary mouse button. So the first thing we're going to do is draw a road, it looks like. So right here, we're going to see that we have two... Uh, basically roads one comes into the city and one goes out of the city um obviously if, you know the best thing to do is draw a dang road so we're going to draw a nice little road here we're going to right click to de deselect and we're going to draw this road the same route okay so we got the road started um you can also build a two lane one road uh one way road but i'm not going to be doing that yet and then you have a two lane gravel road as well um, but the, you can actually see the upkeep uh, per cell, and it's going to be 32 cents or um, whatever you want to call it, and that's going to be per week. So you're going to actually want to see the upkeep and then the cost um, per cell. But then you're going to have all these other road tabs you're going to be able to see. Like this is a four-lane road. Um, obviously, this has parking space, uh, supports medium traffic, and so on and so forth throughout your um, experience into this game. So. I built the the beginning roads to let's say right there we're gonna stop right there and we're actually going to create something that I mean a lot of you guys might not use this uh, the same way I do and I'm kinda just messing around right now so we're gonna go ahead and build a circle um, you can actually rotate the circle I just realized um, by rotating to the right if you guys can see that let's see here can I make it a bigger doesn't look like I can cuz it's already occupied I was gonna see if I can make it actually a, a bigger circle um, but it doesn't look like I can. Uh, so I got what I want here. Uh, we're going to connect this to that. It's going to be a little ugly, I understand. You guys are probably like, ew, ew, ew. This is going to be basically for understanding the game. We're going to do a episodes later on, possibly, if you guys like uh, this game and kind of like what's going on. We'll do later on episodes uh, more about the game, and you know we'll continue a city from scratch. But probably the first thing you want to do, uh, from what I've been learning, is you want to hit that pause button right in the beginning just to get stuff set up before... Um, you have any traffic into your city. So, uh, like I said, this is the roads. Then you're going to have this, and this is going to be zoning. And you're going to have districts over here. If you have a population of 650, you're going to unlock districts. I actually haven't gotten to that tool yet because, like I said, 30 minutes. Um, but you're actually going to have the residential zone. You're going to have the density commercial zone. And you're going to have the industrial zone. Then you're also going to have over here the D zone, which is a way to kind of take zones away. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is kind of make a path that I'm okay with making... Um, residential so I actually kind of want to make over here the residential zone well I could do it up here as well but I have all these trees kind of in the way so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to make this area over here let's see here yeah I can make that a intersection sort of deal right there but right here I can actually make this a um, a residential zone and I'm gonna make that a residential zone by just kind of building uh, some zigzags here and I'm, I'm using a ton of money right now so I don't know if I would recommend this at all but it's what I'm doing we're, we're gonna ride this out and just see what happens uh, so we got that made and we can start the play button and kind of let it go a little bit slower um, but looks like we're gonna take the low density residential zone and we're gonna start zoning this residential area uh, for pretty much all residential uh, houses and people to come live in here um, and that's actually see I don't want that over here so we can try the D zone option it's actually going to D zone uh, 
this spot. So that's going to be good for us. We're going to want to make, um, let's see here. Wait, did I just make that all commercial? Or is this... No, that's that's right. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, they're making houses, right? Residential. Yeah. Okay. Just making sure. I want the um, over here to be commercial, so I didn't want that to be residential and or commercial. But we're gonna make all over here commercial around the circle. I think that's where all the hype of the city is gonna be uh, in the beginning of the game, at the very least. So there we go with that. We're gonna obviously need some industrial uh, type buildings as well. So I'm gonna pause the game actually real quick. And if you see here, if you don't have something where you want it, you use this bulldozer icon in the bottom right. That's pretty much all this is gonna tell you. Um, if you you know did buildings recently enough, you're gonna get most of your money back. And uh, so that's a quick way to get that money back. But uh, we're gonna have, uh, let's see here. See, I'm not gonna want that to cross all the way over there. So I might make a, what is this, a dirt road? I don't want a dirt road. I'm gonna, I might take a regular road right here and kind of cut that off. And that's going to allow me to actually add a zone of, not commercial, but residential right there. Um, so we're going to have all this being residential. Uh, we're going to have this all commercial, and now we're going to need an industrial zone. And it's good to separate these because uh, industrial zones make a lot of noise. Um, you know, people go to work there and everything, but it just makes a lot of noise, and you're not going to want your, uh, well, you're not going to want your factories out here by the residentials. Uh, to reach a milestone, you'll actually unlock uh, more services for the citizens, grow the population to reach milestones, and you can click this milestone button in the bottom corner. It'll actually tell you at what milestone you'll get what. So a little hamlet, etc., no, etc. Cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So, like I said, we're going to start building that, uh, that's the, what am I thinking, industrial zone real quick. So how I'm going to do that is, actually, I'm going to probably, let's see here, do I want to make it like that? No, I'd probably make it like this. We're going to go out here come back down to here and we're just going to zone all of this to be industrial now we have all the zoning out of the way for the most part i have a lot more zoning to do but we can start making uh electricity and water work and so the first thing with electricity is you're going to want a cool power plant where you can go for the wind turbines um, and basically just throw some power lines around but i would also like to put this over here near near the industrial plant um industrial area because it's going to allow you to kind of get that noisy um, stuff out of the way. So we have this over here now, um, and we're going to be able to build these, um, what do you call it, uh, power lines. I don't know, I couldn't think of the word, but you're going to build power lines around the area, and you're going to have power to all the industrial buildings and all that kind of sort of thing. So we're going to quickly just build a power line across most of this section here. And what you're able to do is actually cut, you can actually cut through things. So I can cut through like that and right over the road and the road is still as accessible to everyone else. Um, and we'll cut through there as well. Basically, you're gonna want to make everybody have opportunity for electric. You're gonna have a lot of problems if not. So uh, electric is important and water is obviously gonna be important. Um, but for the most part, we just kind of covered everything uh, with electric. Um, we're going to make sure we get that crossed over and we'll cross over here. That's fine. And we'll cut back and over here. And we're pretty much back to where we started. So that's going to be all the electric I'm going to need um, in the beginning. I might have to cut some lines across and that's fine. We'll do that. And maybe one more over here. So we got that cut across and now we're going to need some water. So water is going to work kind of the same way. We're actually going to need to put the water pumping station next to water. So we're going to find your closest water resource to all of your buildings, which actually might be on this side for me. Um, and you're basically going to run pipe to, uh, well, the water tower. We're going to make a water tower over here. We're going to run pipe to the water tower and through the city uh, under all the houses and residential zones and everything, all that, so all of that sort of thing. So we're going to... We might plop this water tower right in the middle, actually, just for the hell of it. And we're going to make some connections all the way over there and all the way over to there. So we have the space already occupied. We actually don't need this to go to the water tower. We can, if we wanted to, just connect it here. Um, but let's connect this water underneath and get all these residential zones taken care of. And as you can see, I am running low. I'm, I'm starting to get pretty low on money, and that's just going to happen. After you start your city, you're going to get pretty low on money and funds. So 
Just make sure you uh, keep track of your funds and see what you're actually capable of doing uh, before you go all out. Let's see here. So it says space already occupied. It's really not occupied yet, but it should be just fine. We're going to kind of connect it over to here, the industrial part. We're going to take it over to here. And there's definitely going to be faster ways or better ways of doing this. Um, I'm just kind of throwing things around right now. you got to remember that. Uh, there's definitely better ways to... Uh, you know, save money and save costs by connecting things at certain areas. Uh, but that's going to be pretty much my basic start to this city. So uh, we're going to actually speed this up now and just let you guys kind of watch the beginning growth. Uh, obviously, I'm going to be losing a lot of money in the start of this. Um, and it's going to tank my income down to uh, just insane amounts. But it'll be just fine because we're going to get a lot of things started. Um, you can see here, I kind of like steady production of electricity. Uh, but there are the environmental factors to consider. So they're, they're just basically going to be tweeting in, uh, giving you ideas on what they want fixed. Um, and we're pretty much going to watch our city grow here. Um, like I said, you're going to lose a ton of money in the start. I mean, obviously, I don't have any of these uh, built up yet, any of the commercial zones. We don't have any of the industrial really built up. Uh, we're just getting residential right now. So it's all just starting. And this is going to be the start to the city. And this is going to be my city start, the way I start my cities. Uh, every time from here on out unless I can find uh, some better ways of doing it and I'm sure there's better ways out there so uh, this is just a beginner guide uh, just a quick way of showing you guys what city, city skylines really is um, it's just a quick uh, short overview of the beginning of it obviously there's a lot more to it um, it's a pretty cool simulation where you can actually watch the people themselves get into their houses um, when you get police later on you can watch the police literally pick people up out of their houses take them out bring them to jail there's hospitals schools and whatever else you really want uh, right here you're going to see we have a notification you're going to have notifications pop up throughout the game uh, this is going to be a disposal um, sewage is backing up so you're going to have to get the sewage out there to them um, and like you saw earlier I did have a where is that water drain pipe and this is going to be for the sewage and it's going to help you out a lot, get rid of it. Uh, down here, we're actually going to have garbage as well, which is somewhat similar to uh, sewage. But you're basically going to make want to make sure you are taking proper care of your citizens so they stay happy. And you keep them happy because if you keep them happy, you're going to make more money because there's going to be more people coming in and your population is going to rise. You want to make sure you always have a steady population increase. So right now I'm at 305, and for the most part, they're happy. So that's good. But uh, this is basically your overview of Skylines real quick. Uh, I know it was a quick little helper uh, tip, but you want to make sure you kind of just take advantage of the cheap price and deals right now going on through December. Uh, if you really do like simulation games, this game is probably the one for you. It's got a lot of sweet, um, it's got a lot of sweet things to it. I mean, I mean, I don't know. I, I, this is uh, there's going to be a lot of other games I'm going to be playing on this channel, uh, like always, so just stick around and watch the videos you want. Just stick around, though. I, I don't want, you know, some of those longtime fans, they actually accidentally unsubscribe to me and be like, oh, Graphic, I actually uh, unsubscribed to you because I, you were playing other games and I didn't realize that you were the guy that I always loved, you know, playing Albion Online or you playing Rocket League or whatever else. Uh, just remember that I, I play different games, just like every one of you, so uh, just stick around and watch for, you know, those videos uh, that you like and, and you enjoy. But uh, for the most part, I'll see you guys next time. This is City Skylines, and it's a little beginner guide for you.